By the way, guys, just so you know, we are halfway done. And we're living on a prayer. Yeah, well, I opened up. I opened up the Zillia link and uh, I saw Jude filling that girl up with loads of mana. <laughs> Fucking sex. Are you guys ready to rumble? And by rumble, I mean die because I'm doing critical one level one. Critical level one mode. AKA Cody sucks ass mode. Bada bing, bada boom. Man, they drop a lot more potions when uh, you have no experience turned on. Is that, is that really the case? Do they really drop more potions when you have no experience turned on? Cause I'm starting to think so. Or am I just getting mad ass lucky with the drops? Aqua always lurks. I'm gonna play Dragon Age Origins, like... Maybe after I do a Zelda 24 hour stream. Boom, 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 boom. Fighting a boss fight, and here I go. Fuck you, I hit you in your head. Now you are dead. When it comes to brain cells, I am going to kick your ass in the jail cell. Oh, oh fuck, I killed you. Oh, well, you're dead now. Look at that keyblade. Look at that keyblade. Look at me for oh. I'm gonna die. I'm fucking so screwed. I'm gonna die. Screw you! Gotcha. Eat up, back up, dicks, you motherfucker. Freak. Yeah. 
What the fuck? I already beat that fight as a level one the last time I did crit. Now that I'm critical level one, that's bullshit. Just critical. Because I haven't died once yet on critical. Well, apart from this critical one, but on my other critical file, haven't died once. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Ah, damn it. So just so you guys know, because I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys are curious, what is going to be my next stream after I do 24, uh, the 24-hour stream? Well, I mean, my next 24-hour stream will be Zelda, but that won't be for quite some time. Um, my next stream is going to be on the 24th, and it's going to be Life is Strange Episode 2, baby. You know, in case anyone's curious. I had, uh, I had a lot of fun doing that stream, and that's how I actually got some of these new viewers here. JHK or whatever? He found me through Life is Strange, so that was fun times. Can we have an episode recap? Uh, there's a girl named Max. She has the power to control time. There's a guy named Nathan. He's trying to kill a girl named Chloe. Uh, but because Max had the power to control time, she prevented Nathan from killing Chloe. Some shit happened. People were fighting. There's this girl named, uh, Vanessa, uh, or Victoria. She's a bitch. But I, I was nice, I was nice to her at first, and then I went into her room and I messed with her shit. And I made a big middle finger out of a bunch of sticky notes. It was funny. Yeah, 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 whatever. You find out things are going on and some girls are pregnant. Blah, blah, blah. You move on. And then you have this friend, and um, and Chloe's dad is is being a bitch to your friend. And then eventually you go to this guy named Warren. Warren has a crush on Max. You return his shit because he asked you to go get his flash drive. And then when you do so, Nathan, the guy who's going to kill Chloe, can't, comes up and like beats the shit out of people. But luckily... Uh, Warren is there, he has your back, and he takes the hit for you, and then you jump in Chloe's car, and you and you guys drive off, you go over to Chloe's house, you find out that you and Chloe used to be great friends, but then shit happened, and you moved away, and now you're back, and uh, she's mad because you didn't say hi, even though she's been there for a little bit, and uh, there's like a little bit of like tension, possibly like, you know, romance thing going on, 
Uh, Chloe is a lesbian. Chloe used to uh, be really friendly with this girl who is now supposedly missing. And uh, her dad, the cop who was picking on your friend, uh, is actually Chloe's dad. And he has all these like weird surveillance cameras set up around the house. He's being a little bit of a fucking prick. And uh, Chloe's dad um, has also been taking pictures of your friend, you, Max, your friend. And, uh, and that's not cool. And the episode ends with Chloe. She has a blunt, uh, so you could either take the, take the blame for her or you could just hide. Um, and then after that, you go to this, um, you go to this, like, hill, the top of this hill, and you get this vision. You get this vision, like, that's how Raven, you see into the future, you see, like, in a week, week or two, following that day uh there's gonna be like a big fucking hurricane tornado shit going on it's gonna be like coney 2012 all over again it's gonna be crazy though it's gonna be like it's gonna be 20 it's like gonna be 20 2012 the end of the world except if it actually happened it's crazy and you have to prevent it and that's like the cliffhanger episode one there there's your recap sorry come on Hit your head. Oh, and also Max, the main character of Life is Strange, has a crush on her teacher. Uh, actually, a lot of the girls in that game seem to have a crush on that teacher. And the teacher's name is Mr. Jefferson, and he's in charge of the photography class. Because Max is a photographer. Which is kind of like a, a hipster photographer. She uses a Polaroid, and in her journals, it's, she's described as a hipster. Did I miss any uh, important details, JHK? I won. It's a choose your own adventure kind of game. Kind of if you've played um, Telltale games before, like The Walking Dead and Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, they've done some uh, point and click games where you can make decisions and it will affect the ending. That's what Life is Strange is, except it's not made by Telltale. It's made by Don Tanod and Square Enix published it. Oh yeah, by the way, the friend's name was Kate. I forgot the name the friend's name. That's why I just kept saying the friend. 
But yeah, Chloe's dad, the Chloe, the girl that was gonna get killed, uh, her dad was taking pictures of Kate, your friend, and um, just being a total bitch to Kate. Raxis. I have a wig myself, actually. I only have one. It's a gray, white male anime wig, and I got it for a video that I still haven't made. This is why we need a Final Fantasy IX remake. Boom. Look, wouldn't you love to fucking play as Vivi looking like that? That would be great. I think they're just too lazy. Or they don't care. See what I don't get. How did how is she able to control time? Like why her? What what makes what makes Max such a fucking special hey, snowflake? Did that ever get explained? I don't think it did. What the hell is going on? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? 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 Oh, I don't know. I don't understand what just happened. 